Hi, now I'll be showing you how to interact with your SIM 900 GSM module via AT command. For this you will be going to need a terminal software. You can choose any terminal software of your choice. Now select the COM port where you have connected the GSM module. In my case it is COM11 and I will leave all the port settings to default 9600 baud rate 8 data bits no parity one stop bit no handshake and open the terminal. Now I will turn on the power to the module. The module is turned on now and you can see that five dots have appeared on the screen. These mysterious dots are because SIM 900 generates a hex sequence whenever it is powered on. It is all given in the data sheet. See, a hex string such as blah 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 will be sent out through serial port at the baud rate of something something when the SIM 900 is powered on. And it also mentions that you, the first command that is entered through the terminal when the SIM 900 is powered up should be a capital AT and not a small case AT. We will test that also now. Okay. Now I will just enter the smaller case AT. See the module is not responding. Now I will enter the upper case AT. The module responds properly now. Now I will show you how to make a call from SIM 900. For this you need to enter the command ATD uh, followed by the phone number. I'll just make a call to my number now. Let's wait for the call. For cutting or disconnecting the call, we need to enter the command ATH. AT. See, the call is disconnected now. ATH command just hangs up the call. Now we will see what happens when a call arrives to the SIM card which is inserted in the SIM 900 module. I will just make a call from my mobile phone to that SIM card. It is dialing now. See, the module alerts the user by using the string ring. ring. But this information is not sufficient when we want the uh, you know information of the user who is calling. So what uh, now I will just disconnect the call using the ATH command again. Now the call is disconnected. To make the caller ID information appear on the terminal, we need to enable the caller ID information using the command AT plus CLIP is equal to 1. This command enables the caller ID information to be displayed on the screen or the terminal. If the number or the caller's uh, number and uh, the name are saved in the contact list of the SIM card, the name is also displayed but my number is not saved in that SIM card so it will just appear as my uh, it will just show my number. Now I will make a call again. Now you can see that it is displaying the caller ID information. It is displaying the number of the caller. Okay. Now I will again disconnect the call using the command ATH. Next thing what we will do is, we will see how uh, I don't want to answer a call and I will just, uh, if you want to answer a call uh, whenever uh, a call arrives, you just need to use the command ATA. It's showing error because it is not, uh, there, is, there, has, uh, there is no call coming to it now.
now next what i will show is i will just show you how to read a message from the inbox sim uh, every sim card has some amount of memory in it uh, uh, some sim cards come with a memory for storing 20 messages some sim cards come with a memory for storing 32 messages it all depends on the sim card and the manufacturer so uh, if, if you want to read all the messages that are stored in your inbox you need to, you need to use the command a t plus c m g sorry a t plus c m g l is equal to all you need to use the letters all as capital and they should be enclosed in double quotes now you can see that the these are the promotional messages that I have that have arrived at my sim card and they are stored in my sim card inbox now if you why if I uh, this uh, you can see that the CMGL1 indicates uh, it's the first message in the inbox CMGL2 indicates that it's the second message in boy inbox and similarly CMGL3 then the rec unread shows that the record or the message has is read, is unread and it is being read for the first time now if i issue the command at plus sorry at plus cmgl is equal to all you can see that the rec has be record has been read now because we have already read the information or the messages now if i want to read only the message number 1 I will, I will have to issue the command at plus cmgr is equal to 1 this will read the first message in the inbox see this is what is the first message okay now if I want to read the second message AT plus CMGR is equal to 2. This reads the second message in the inbox. Now, what about deleting a message? If I want to delete a SMS, I have to issue the command AT plus CMGD is equal to 1. This will delete the first message in the inbox. Okay, now we will read the, all the SMS again. see the first sms is gone it has been deleted there is there, there is no command to delete all the sms in the inbox uh, similar to uh, reading all the sms in the inbox okay now the next thing we will come to is how to send an sms to user for this uh, for this we will be using the command at plus cmgs is equal to the mobile number okay I'm sorry hmm. you need to enclose the mobile number in double quotes now I will just type the command as uh, or whatever message is there hello and I will uh, once the message is typed even you can type uh, text down to 160 characters that's the text message here uh, text message limit here now if I want to make it to send and send that SMS whatever I have typed there now I need to enter the hex uh, hex character control Z hex hex character of control Z so I will just do go to hex mode and I will enter 1a which is the command or the control code to make the module send the SMS see the it has got a response as something called CMGS6 and uh, you can also I think you also heard the sound of the message arriving at my inbox okay now next thing what I will show you is how to set the baud rate by default the sim 900 module 
comes with the auto board enabled that's why those four mysterious dots appear now i will i will show you how to set the board rate to a fixed value suppose i want to set the board rate to 9600 bits per second what i'll show you what happens for this you need to use the command at plus ipr is equal to 9600 and press okay now the baud rate has been set to 9600 at plus ipr question mark will give you what baud rate the module is operating on now now i will show you what happens now when the i remove the power and restart the module let's remove the power and again plug in the power see these all strings didn't appear when i you know uh, started the module for the first time that's because the module was in auto board mode and it didn't know at what board rate it should send the data now it uh, it knows very well that uh, it should send the data out in 9600 bits per second it is giving us all this information so if you uh, if you are worried about this information not appearing on your screen uh, when uh, the module is powered on it is because your module is in auto board mode once you set this i uh, the board rate using the at plus ipr command you will start getting this messages whenever you restart the module or the module is powered on that's all for now i will be telling you much more information on how to in you know interact with the internet or the gprs using sim 900 in my next session okay thank you that's all for now